Hello, Your Honor, and welcome now to Wednesday. Well, good news for the Librans. It's going to be a sunny day, and for the next 36 hours, emotionally very childlike and playful. The moon is moving into Aquarius, for, which for starters is an air sign just like you, so it really helps to mix the emotions with an air sign, if you are an air sign, because you can really just digest them. Secondly, the moon in the fifth house means that emotionally, your consciousness is kind of touring through your inner child. So if you let go and you let your inner child be free right now, you'll find that you're naturally creative, naturally playful. It's that part of you that you kind of neglect most of the year if you're an adult in the United States. And also, if you're in a romantic relationship, you could be very much inspired during this transit because it's the part of you that gets butterflies. Now, if this part of your life is not getting what it wants, well, that's where the emotions might flip to the other side for you and suddenly you find yourselves having temper tantrums, basically, because your inner child is not happy. Just be conscious that your emotions are touring the inner child part of yourself and you definitely want to let that breathe and grow in the next 36 hours. Now, spiritually, the day is actually ruled by Jupiter and your sun, as you probably know, is up in the house of long-term relationships. Having Jupiter give a boost of energy in that direction means it's easy to think outside the box today when it comes to LTR solutions. And as we wrap up Chapter 3 of Sun and Aries, realize, Libra, it is about in this last next eight days for you really to negotiate and come into power in each of your long-term relationships. They need to be upgraded, basically. Upgraded in the sense that they honor your new kind of strength in the world and they honor this new mental discipline that you've developed to in the third house. It's part of that soul pyramid. So today with Jupiter ruling the day, take a step back, look at everything and assess what you need to invest in before the soul and the sun moves into another area of your life and doesn't make it as easy as now. Also, I want to say Mercury has just joined forces with the sun now in the house of Aries. So you're going to find that when it comes to communicating directly with long-term relationship partnerships, you're very clear, you're very concise and you're listening if that's not a problem or is in the past. All right, Libra, that's all we have for Wednesday. See you tomorrow with more Soul Horoscopes. Live, love, be. So God.